I am so excited to see that this feature has finally made it over to the PlayStation. Bro, Xbox had this feature since forever. Okay. What feature am I talking about? Well, I'm referring to the fact that you can finally upload your PlayStation 5 clips to the PlayStation app so you can access them on your Android or iOS device. You can easily share the clips with your PlayStation friends, download them directly to your phone. No computer, no capture card, no USB, just your phone and your PlayStation 5 console. Let me show you how to do it. To get things started, you want to first download the PlayStation mobile app on your respective device. Depending on the device you need the app for, I left links to the Google Play Store as well as the Apple App Store so you can download this. Once you have the app installed, go ahead and launch it and sign in. And then the first thing you want to pay attention to when you get to the main page is that bottom section where you see all those icons. Go there and take a look at the right side and you'll see the game library icon. Select that and you'll see a section for games as well as captures. Go ahead and select captures and then under that you'll see a message appear where you can enable the auto upload feature. If you're on the PlayStation 5, you can also enable this feature by going to the Media Gallery. You may have to check in your library for the Media Gallery app. But once you get into the Media Gallery, you'll see a message appear where it will ask you if you want to enable this auto upload feature. Go ahead and enable it. Before we dive in and start recording gameplay, we want to first go to our PlayStation 5 settings, scroll down to Captures and Broadcast, and within here we're going to want to check out our recording settings. We want to avoid recording in 4K quality because of PlayStation app can only upload a resolution up to 1080p at a three minutes length. From within a game, you can start recording by just double tapping the create button. And by default, that'll save the last 30 seconds of gameplay that you recorded. Something else you can upload to the PlayStation app are screenshots. So to capture one of those, by default, you can tap and then hold the create button and that'll capture a screenshot. Now, if you're trying to get more of a full gameplay recording, then go ahead and tap the create button. And within here, you can start a recording. Just be careful not to go for three minutes long or else the video is not going to upload to the PlayStation app. <laughs> But I have a little trick to get around this for either if you have a clip that's just way too long to upload, maybe you have a 4K clip you'd like to have uploaded to the app. And third, how about if you have some old clips on your PlayStation that just weren't within the time period to have the chance to be uploaded? Well, what you guys can do is download the Share Factory Studio application and within there, you can bring in any of those clips in a separate project or even the same project if you want and just trim and crop the clips down into a three minute time bucket. And once you've created an edit that you're satisfied with, you can go ahead and select the options button and then check out your export settings so that you can make sure that your project is not in 4K and that you export it in 1080p. If you have your edit three minutes or less at a 1080p resolution, it'll upload to the PlayStation app once it completes its rendering. You can check up any of your upload status by going to the PlayStation 5 quick menu setting and then scrolling over to the upload icon and you'll be able to see how much time is remaining for the upload to be complete. On average, your clip should take no more than five to 10 minutes to upload depending on the speed of your internet. But I like the fact that it is relatively fast and now I can just hop on back to my PlayStation app on my phone, go to my game library, head over to the captures, and then I can see all the gameplay that I just uploaded, the edited versions and the raw footage uploads that meet that resolution and time criteria. Just keep in mind that these clips will stay on the app for up to 14 days. Within that time frame, you can go ahead and watch any of your video clips that you like. You know, scroll around, enjoy them. And then if you want to share them with friends, just select that share icon on the bottom left hand side. And this will bring up a way for you to share your clip with your PlayStation friends, as well as share it to other social media platforms. But let's say you want to download your clip, then just exit out of there. And on the bottom right hand side, you'll see this download icon. And if you select that, it'll save directly to your device. Sony may be late to the party for releasing this feature for everybody, but at least it's here now because before we had to upload our video clips to YouTube and then use our phone to go to some shady YouTube downloader site just so we could get a download 
of our video. Life is easy now, it's Gucci. Anyways, thank you so much for staying to the end of the video. Share this video with a friend if you think this is a feature that they would like to know about. And also check out the videos on screen. One of them goes into detail on how to use Share Factory Studio on your PlayStation 5. And the other video goes into how to use your PlayStation 4 or even your PlayStation 5 to upload long form content so you can download it to your phone. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.